And today on Price Check, we're going to take a look at a category that befuddles new collectors and experienced collectors alike, and that is Russian Sterling Silver. So, of course, anytime you're talking Russian Sterling Silver, you know, we have to talk the granddaddy of all fine art smiths, Fabergé. And here we have a, you know, I skipped the egg to go to something a little bit different. We have a carved hedgehog with agate, with agates and rubies as eyes. And we have the Fabergé box dating this to the late 19th, early 20th century. This is a remarkable piece of Russian craftsmanship. And there doesn't appear to be any silver inset in here at all. Um, unless I am wrong, but uh, I did pull it aside because of the Fabergé name, and I was hoping to avoid cliches. So I guess start your video off with a uh, carved agate, uh, carved agate stone with some quartz. Uh, when it's supposed to be out silver and I guess you've done that so let's move over to stuff that's a little more normal for what you might expect for Russian silver um, obviously I don't expect you to be picking up this specific box for two thousand dollars but I thought it was important to draw up this sort of enamel coloring here this is very typical of fine Russian silver work uh, late 19th early 20th century even uh, you know, pushing mid 20th century, we're still getting this sort of uh, very colorful design. Um, and this is something that a lot of people will mistake it for like uh, Chinese cloisonne or even, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, even some uh, like Champlive will, will get mistake, well, this will get mistaken for. Um, but very nice pieces. And we have a little bit more, you know, this is might be more what you're used to seeing, this little stamp card box. Um, someone out there is probably saying, damn, I should have bought that at that sale. I didn't realize it was Russian silver. Um, and this is a really good example of this type of <coughs> colorization that you might get. We've got a little hallmark in there uh, that you can see and all of these little turquoise beads and other colors set in enamel. And the turquoise is set in enamel too, those, are, those wouldn't be beads. Very nice. And again, another Russian spoon with the same stylizations that we're seeing elsewhere. A lot of this Russian, uh, a lot of these Russian uh, antique wares are actually gilt um, and many of them are sparsely marked or the marks have been rubbed out you might see a mark that says 84 uh, for the Russian standard of silver but overall a rather fetching piece if you ask me and here we've got one more just like it actually it looks like it is the same exact spoon so I will close out of that by antique barn yep and so that might not actually be a sold listing it might be a double sell so let's find something to uh, end on here in the lower price range that is a bit different this is awesome i'm gonna guess it is early 20th century which the listing kind of gives away but you can tell based on the stylizations you know we've passed the high Victorian, high Victorian period, we've moved into uh, very refined early 20th century. That is really rather fetching with all the little paw prints too. Very nice, sold $555. Well, hopefully you learned something here about Russian silver. Um, and even if you didn't, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can uh, Keep up with the videos as we put them out and make sure that you're not missing any opportunities while you're out and about. And as always, we hope you have a great day.